Hi, this is Simon Hill for Digital Trends and today we're looking at some handy tips and tricks for the Google Pixel 3 or Pixel 3 XL. Now, one of the first things you're going to want to do uh, when you get a new smartphone is to customize this home screen here. So just like any other Android smartphone, if you tap and hold an empty space, you'll get your customization menu popping up. You've got wallpapers, widgets and home settings. If we jump into wallpapers for a moment, there are some great options in Living Universe which are subtly animated. But if you choose another category like landscapes, for example, there's no need to pick just one of these wallpapers. Tap on daily wallpaper at the top left and Google will cycle through and give you a new wallpaper every day, uh, which is a really nice way of uh, seeing a bunch of different wallpapers. If we tap and hold again and jump into home settings, you can also decide whether you want notification dots. You can set additional information to appear in the at a glance widget, which is this widget at the top of your home screen here. Um, and you can also, we recommend toggling off uh, add a new icon to the home screen for every time you install an app. Uh, it's up to you if you want that. If for some reason you want your home screen to be able to rotate to landscape view, you could toggle that on there. And there are a couple of other options in there as well. One of our favorite features of the Pixel 3, which we absolutely love, is to be found in settings. Scroll down and hit sound. And it's called now playing. Now, what Now Playing basically does is it listens for the music that's playing around you and it throws up <clears throat> the song title and the artist on the lock screen um, and it works fantastically well. It doesn't record this information or send up to the cloud or anything, it's all done on the phone and it doesn't seem to use much battery life either. Now, this was a feature in the Pixel 2 as well, but this year uh, Google has added Now Playing History, so I can tap on this and I can basically see all the music that was playing um, everywhere I was, cafes, bars, wherever over the last few days. So if you've got something stuck in your head, you want to go back and see what it was, you can have a look through your now playing history. If you find a song you really like, simply tap on it and you'll see that you get the option to play that song in the music services that you've got installed on your phone. And it's worth mentioning here that um, Google is offering six months free subscription to YouTube Music if you buy a Pixel 3 or a Pixel 3 XL. Now, another one of the sort of um, fairly unique features that you'll find with the Pixel 3 is uh, the, the gesture support. So we've got Active Edge, which allows you to squeeze the bottom of the phone here um, in order to launch Google Assistant. Uh, that might not suit everyone, and also you might find it doesn't work very well for you, in which case you want to go into Settings, you want to scroll down to System, and you want to have a look in this Gestures menu here and Active Edge is the top one. And you can actually change the squeeze sensitivity that's required to launch Google Assistant. And you can also tweak a few of the things that it does. Um, squeeze for silence is quite handy. That allows you to squeeze the phone to, to silence it, obviously. If we jump back into the gestures uh, menu here, there are a lot of other options that we really like. This swipe fingerprint for notifications is terrific. We've got this toggled on as well. So if I go back to the home screen here for a moment, if you're uh, holding your phone one-handed and you want to check your notifications, you can just swipe that fingerprint sensor on the back. All I did there was swipe, swipe again, and then swipe to put it away again. And that's a really handy shortcut. Um, there are also some other useful ones in here that we recommend turning on. I think most of these are on by default, but it's, it's worth checking. Jump to camera is brilliant, even if your phone's locked. You've got the power button on the side here, double tap the power button and it'll launch the camera. So if you want to quickly grab a photograph, there's something happening spontaneous that you want to capture, um, all you have to do is just double tap that power button. Flip camera um, allows you to do a kind of double twist your wrist motion in order to change from the main camera to the front facing camera when you're already in the camera app. Um, and there are also a couple of uh, there are a couple of other gestures here that relate to the ambient display. Now the ambient display is uh, what comes on when you, I've got this gesture set up. So if I double tap, it'll just show me the time and date. If I had any messages or anything, it would show me that as well. Um, and you can also set that up to come on every time you pick the phone up. You can actually have it on all the time if you want, but we don't recommend that. If you go into settings, display, advanced, and scroll down, you'll find ambient display there. Um, now, we've had some bother with the battery life of our Pixel 3 
Um, so we certainly don't want to uh, encourage it to run down any faster. So we don't have it turned on all the time, but we do have the gestures turned on and it comes to life when we get a new notification. And that's just great for when you have your phone sitting on the desk next to you um, and you can just quickly see at a glance what's going on. Now, the last gesture we were going to talk about, which we really like is, um, is flip to shh. And it can be found in, if we can jump into settings here and scroll down, there's this new entry called digital wellbeing. And there you'll find flip to shh, we've got it turned on. And all this basically does is um, say you're in a meeting and a call comes in and you want to quickly silence your phone, just flip it face down and it will activate do not disturb. Let me just get rid of that quickly. And um, if we jump back into this digital wellbeing menu, there are a lot of other options in here as well. Now, ordinarily with a new phone, we would suggest that you set up a do not disturb schedule for your nighttime hours so your phone doesn't wake you up. Maybe consider some kind of blue light filter so that you're filtering out the blue light, which can make it harder to fall asleep if you're reading on your phone near bedtime. But as it turns out um, with the Pixel 3, you can just jump in here and choose wind down and it will actually prompt you to set up your do not disturb schedule, set up your nightlight schedule which filters out the blue light and it even goes a little bit further with this grayscale option <clears throat> and what this will do is when you approach the hour when you want to ideally be going to sleep it'll take all the colour out of the display just as an extra incentive to put your phone down and, you know, and actually go to sleep. Now, speaking of colour in the display, um, last year's Pixel 2 came in for a little bit of criticism because uh, some people felt the display was a little bit washed out. So um, Google has dealt with that in the Pixel 3 and it's made the colours a little bit more vibrant, but you can still change them if you want. So if you go into settings, you want to find the display section again, advanced, and you'll see colours here and you can choose, it'll be on adaptive, which we found to be very good, but if you want a more natural look, you can choose natural. If you want an even more vibrant look, you can choose boosted. It's worth playing around with that and just to see what suits you personally, um, find out which, uh, which color you prefer. Another setting we like in here, which you might find handy, is um, device theme. And once again, it's settings, display, advanced, and you've got device theme, ours set to automatic which matches the wallpaper, but if we choose dark for a moment and jump out of there, you'll see that you can change the background to things like the quick settings toggles to dark. And that's especially good if you're using your phone in the dark quite a lot, where those white backgrounds can really be a bit glaring, they can almost hurt your eyes. So that's it for Pixel 3 tips and tricks for now, but you will find um, a lot more tips and tricks on offering our articles at Digital Trends.